Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752. This is your daily go get em ism number 340 for September 8th, 2015. It ain't where you at, it's where you from. Yeah, it ain't where you at, it's where you from. And the reason that we say it ain't where you at, it's where you from is because where you from is going to always have a big impact on where you want to be or where you can be at. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, now, in, 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 in terms of accomplishment, of course, it matters where you at. Because where you start ain't always going to be where you finish. Of course, it can. You start out as a baby. You ain't going to end as a baby, right? But when we say it's, it's really about where you're from, because where you're from is where your foundation gets laid, laid at. Where you're from is where you're going to get your value system. Like, everything that you see from your perspective is going to determine where you're from. So we're not talking about nothing that's cosmetic. We're not talking about whether you grew up in a single family house, whether you grew up in the projects, whether you grew up in a tenement building, whether you grew up in a mansion, whether you grew up in, in you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying, a ranch home, whatever. You know, whatever the case may be, we're not talking about the physical place of where you're from. Where you're from is where your heart is from. Where, where you're from is where your mind is from. Because every time you say something out of your mouth, every time that a situation comes up that you have to, you have to, you know, deal with, Whenever you have to interact with people, whenever you have to communicate with people, where you're from is going to determine that. Your trust level of people. That's what all going to have a lot to do with where you're from. Because if you're from a place like from around here, you're not going to be trusting everybody. You know, if you like a lot of people that live around here, you're not going to be talking to everybody when you see them in the street. You're going to be a little suspicious of people when you see them. You know, when somebody speaks to you, you know, and gets real friendly, you might be a little, a little, a little suspicious of their motives. I'm not saying that that's a good thing, and it's not, and that's not consistent across the board. But nonetheless, when when you grow up from, and with modest means, when you grow up around around people who do scheme, when you grow up around people who kick game, when you grow up around people who may be involved in the crime element, when you from that, you know, you always think about, you always try to calculate the person, the the, the next man's next move. Because you don't know, you don't, you don't be trying to get played on no, on no kind of, in no kind of way, when you from, like where I'm from. Now, I'm originally from Germantown, but I live in North Philly. So because I always stayed in between both places, I can be from either place. I'll tell you another thing about where you're from, because it's kind of crazy. Back in the day, you know. They say it's wild for, 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 um, for young people out here right now. As far as I'm concerned, they got it good. And the reason that I say that they have it good is because when I was a teenager, I couldn't just go to any neighborhood that I wanted to go to. I couldn't just go to West Oak Lane or Mount Airy or, well, maybe West Oak. No, no, maybe Mount Airy, but I couldn't go to every place in West Oak Lane. I couldn't just go to South Philly or West Philly or Southwest or, or even some parts of North Philly unless I knew somebody. So, because... The question always came up, Chris out. Okay, got a hell of a haircut. Yeah, you got one today. Yeah. And he just got one. He got a hustler. Yeah. <laughs> you got one another mother gun. That's what's up. So yeah, the question used to come up, where you from? And if that answer didn't come out right, you know, you might get knocked upside your head. You might get rolled on by somebody. It always mattered where you from, because it was about territory. Like you ain't from around here. So you can't just come around here like a sweet like that. That's the way it used to be. And that's not saying that that's a good thing. But one, one, one of the things that's a big difference between then and now is that these teenagers, they can go anywhere they want to go. Unless you are involved, you know, in, in drug culture or whatever, whatever, you're not in no real danger. You know, we hear about, we hear about people, you know, stealing people's sneakers like Jordans and all that kind of stuff. But that was part for the course. They didn't just steal sneakers when I was growing up. You know what I mean? Where we was from, they take they take boots. You know, when Timberlands first came out, they would take those. They would take they would take sneakers, and it, it wasn't it wasn't about the Jordans. Jordans wasn't even valuable back then. It was regular hundred dollar sneakers. I mean, they just was. You know what I'm saying? 1987, 1988. When 88, I remember um, the 88 Jordans. Jordan number threes was was hundred and five dollars. I never forget it because I remember I, I went and copped the pair. That was in 1988. It was hundred and five dollars. You can almost get them for that now. So you know, in terms of inflation, it's not. Anyway, anyway, where you from 
is always going to have a, a, a real big impact on the way that you see the world. It's going to have a big impact on the way that you deal with people. It's going to have an impact on the way people see you and, and what they think about you and their ability that they feel that they can communicate with you or not. So it is really about where you're from. Because where you're from is going to, is going to determine whether... We, we talked about trust, trust, but it's, it's, always going, it's also going to determine um, your kindness factor, um, your communication skills, um, your your ability to see the future and to believe in the future about whether you can be this, that, and the third. You know what I mean? Your interactions with people are going to have a lot to do with where you're from. You know, when it comes to kids, if you lay down a bad foundation for them in the beginning, then where they're from is going to be a bad place because where you from can really land you up in, in jail for life or in a coffin at an early age. Because the foundation that was laid for you might have been one of a lot of crime, a lot of violence, a lot of chaos, a lot of deception, a lot of things that will make a person want to hurt you. And some of them might follow through with that. So it really is about where you're from. Because that's, where that's what's going to put you where you're at. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours, and remember, it's not where you at, it's where you're from. But where you're from can put you where you at and where you want to be and where you're going to. You know what I'm saying? It's always good to take all things into consideration because that's going to give you your whole 360-degree your whole cycle. That's, that's what's going to put you where you want to be. So what we want to remember most of all about where you're from is to make sure that you can that's good, regardless of the cosmetics, regardless of the building that they go, the house they grow up in, the apartment that they grow up in, or the friends that they grow up around. Make sure that you lay that foundation of where they're from so they can have a chance to be able to thrive in the future and to be able to make something of themselves, something that they can be proud of. Something, make sure that they are able to be on the street, you know what I'm saying, doing something productive with their, their lives. You want to make sure that the foundation that you lay don't put them in a, in, in a box for, for decades and decades or for a lifetime. Where they from, you want to make sure that they don't go around robbing street, um, um, people in order to, to be able to, to floss or to just be able to maintain. Where they from, is, 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 it should be a place that don't make them rely on drugs in order to feel good about themselves or about life in general. It is really about where you're from. September 26th, spring cleaning event number six. Summer burn number three. We did two and a half last, last Saturday. Number three is coming up on the 26th. 10 a.m., Rittenhouse Street, West Hicken Avenue, in the Philadelphia area. I don't care if you live in, I don't care if you live in Delaware, I don't care if you live in, in, in Jersey, I don't care where you live at. Make sure y'all come down to Rittenhouse Street, West Hicken Avenue, 10 o'clock a.m. in Philly. And get with this summer burn event number three. Because that shit is going to be on fire. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it's going down. Um, oh, by the way, that's the weekend that the Pope is coming um, coming to Philly. So the streets is going to be all crazy or whatever. But we're still doing that. And remember, pound, no father. Because that's how we do it. <laughs> so I holler. <sighs>